So I just want to do a quick review of the Platinum Placier fountain pen. This is a $14 uh, pen from Platinum. It's a step up from the entry level Platinum Preppy. So this one's about $3 and this one is about $14. The nib and all the kind of business parts of it are the same. The uh, Placier just moves to uh, an aluminum body. So it's sort of, uh, it's a little bit hard to tell that it's aluminum, but when you pick it up, you can definitely get a feel that it's metal and it's very lightweight, so it's not shocking that it's aluminum. So again, this part, the feed area and the, the section, the part you hold, those are still plastic, but the piece right here, the body and the cap are metal. So you get a sort of a, a classiness to it. This isn't a, a mirrored black, I think is really quite nice. It picks up some fingerprints, but that kind of comes with the territory. It does have a pretty nice band here. It says Platinum Japan, then some rings, kind of like an Audi type deal. And then you see the name, the Placier, P-L-A-I-S-I-R, Placier, Placier, more rings. Uh, obviously this band here is sort of overdoing it, or maybe it's not obvious, but in my opinion, it's overdoing it. It's just sort of a heavy band, given the pen, like trying to, you know, be a little bit too showy, but it's pretty cool nonetheless. Uh, there's no embellishments at the top or bottom, so I, I do appreciate that it's very low key there. The uh, the clip is rather cheap looking, at least in my opinion. It is metal and it does work nicely. It has a little bit of flex, nothing crazy, uh, but it does. Again, I think it looks pretty cheap, just the same way this band is a little bit overdone. The clip is just sort of like underdone and not really in keeping with the, the design of the pen. As for the rest of it, I really like the Preppy lot. I think it writes great. I think for the money, it's amazing. You can do an eyedropper conversion, which is a, a huge feature for me. I think it looks really cool. And the, the Placier steps away from a lot of that. First of all, you can't do an eyedropper conversion. You would think you can because it's the design is the same, but from everything I've read online, people say do not use ink in an aluminum body. The two materials don't mix well. And uh, I, I don't know if that's because it won't stay sealed or if the uh, aluminum leaches into the ink and cause problems, who knows. But everyone said don't do it, so I haven't done it. And what that means is you're left in it with a cartridge, which is fine. I put a blue cartridge in here came with a black one. Uh, you can also buy a converter, but uh, putting an $8 converter in a $14 pen doesn't really make sense for me. And it doesn't really make sense to buy the converter for my preppies because I've been converting them into the eyedroppers. So again, stuck with the cartridges, which are fine, uh, but I've having some problems with this pen and it just, Hasn't been writing very well, and I think maybe I got a dud. I also dropped it, uh, so very possible it's my fault. Uh, but when it does write, it, it does a pretty good job. It's a nice medium platinum. The uh, inconsistent ha ink flow has been a little bit inconsistent. I've had it uh, stopping and starting on me a lot. I found that if I give it a good shake, which is generally not a great idea with fountain pens, then it'll keep going pretty well. But uh, I suspect that when I dropped it, and it was with the cap on, so in normal usage, I would say that uh, maybe something got a little twisted or turned inside, and what I'm gonna do is give it a good clean. Uh, but when it's writing, it's writing quite well. It's a steel nib, not much flex to it, but it's a generous feed. I think the platinum blue is is pretty okay. I don't have any real problems with it. Uh, it's not my, you know, it doesn't have a lot of character, but it's fine. And uh, I've had these pens in a fine, in addition to the medium, and I think the fine is a little bit stingy with ink. So I definitely do recommend getting that medium, uh, at least for day to day writing. And this one is going pretty okay. I had a lot of problems with it today on a, uh, a nicer paper, 
Uh, this is kind of a cheaper like printing paper. I was using a really nice paper like uh, a Nemosin and it just wasn't getting the grip. So uh, that was a problem now, a problem earlier today and it doesn't seem to be happening now. Uh, so maybe the problem was fixed. I was adjusting the nib a little bit. So overall, oh, before we do the overall, I just wanted to compare it to the Metropolitan. I'll do another video on that, but here the two are side to side. These things are pretty much the primary competitors to one another. So check back for a full video on the comparison, but uh, that is coming. As for my uh, final thoughts, I like the Placier in theory, in practice, I gotta say, I've had mixed reviews with it. You can't convert it to an eyedropper. Uh, you're essentially just paying a lot for a preppy. And I really like the preppy, and I like that it's clear. So uh, moving to the aluminum body, you just don't get enough of that aluminum or metal feel to make this worth spending the 12 or 13 or $14 for me. Uh, yeah, it is classier, but like I think it's pretty much a giveaway. This is not an expensive pen. You know, someone's gonna see this on your desk and see the clip, see the band, and no one's gonna be tricked into thinking this is like a, a 50 or $100 pen. So at that point, uh, it's like, <laughs> you're not fooling anyone, and it doesn't feel like a fancy or heavy pen, but it's aluminum. So I kind of don't really get the point here. For my money, better off getting five preppies, or maybe not five, you know, three, four preppies. Really enjoy them fill them up with ink and you know just don't think about it for a long time and uh, if you do want something a little bit nicer uh, probably get the Metropolitan or uh, actually you know go with a Twisby or something like that in the $30 range this is sort of like in a middle point where I think it's a little bit uncomfortable and doesn't quite make sense to do the spend so yeah that's the Platinum Placier if any questions or comments please leave them below otherwise thanks for watching